Right, welcome back to another Beard Invades. This week, I've got two very special guests on that I think you're going to enjoy. It is uh, Bobby and Nicole Duke. How you doing, guys? <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start with you there for a minute. How I'm you doing, so guys? nervous. Why? It's, it's, this is, I, I promise I'll be kind. I won't be true in, too intrusive or okay, probing. Okay. Um, you'll be all right. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> cool. So everybody knows Bobby. Not so many people know uh, uh, Nicole, which is mainly behind the scenes of all Bobby's uh, videos. But Bobby's, it's uh, Bobby's wife. So just in case you didn't know. Um, so you guys kind of know, we've had a little bit of chat before, what's coming up, the kind of questions and things like that. So should we kick off with it? Yes. Absolutely. Right. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a little look at uh, your YouTube channel. Oh, oh okay. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> have a little... did, you, did you draw that eye yourself, Bobby? I did. Yeah, oh, I nice. drew that years ago. It's my oldest daughter. It's her eye. Oh, um, cool. So what's yes. the reflection? It looks like there's a kind of reflection in there. <laughs> uh, I don't remember. I think I was just holding a camera. up. It's probably a window nearby, you know, to oh, catch okay. the light. I think that's what's reflecting in it. Cool. Okay. So, uh, Bobby, you're currently on 3.81 million subscribers, which is massive. Um, yeah, I remember crazy. watching your first video, which was the uh, carving um, a load of, uh, question marks i mean it's gone it's gone massive since then hasn't it oh yeah wait what the the one with the question the how do you how do you make stuff or like oh oh yeah yeah man i haven't thought about that video in a long time yeah that's <laughs> i think my first yeah, yeah. first video yeah. ever how to yeah, carve a leaf style plaque that's what it was right yeah for um the stuff you should know stuff you should yeah. know podcast. Yeah. yeah that's right yeah yeah that's cool so, i actually got to i was able to give that to them personally. Oh, that's he made cool. was a fanboy over yeah, that was podcast. Super <laughs> fan of the podcast. And they ended really? up, they had a very short, brief TV show. And they even used that as sort of the filler between scenes. Like, a, I don't even know what you'd call that. But when you go, like, some a transition. So yeah. they, like, you know, zoomed in on it and stuff. And I was just, I thought that was, they could, I was able to go down to Austin and, kind of be there at the premiere of their TV show because of that carving. And this is way yeah. before my channel took off. It yeah. was a super cool experience. I, yeah, it was, uh, it was good. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Uh, so there's a fly. So guys, there's, there's Patreon and there's, there's all the links there on uh, Bobby's channel if you want to um, have a look at those. Uh, I will leave links to your channel in the description. But uh, the... The, the chances are that most of the world's population uh, has seen you before anyway. <laughs> um, okay, so what we do now is we do a little bit of a, a uh, an introduction. So um, will you guys tell me a little bit about you that your average subscriber wouldn't know? Um, I'm not asking for really, you know, uh, <laughs> bank details. Don't I don't, don't bank know. details or anything like that. about stuff. I feel like he's, he's told so much of his life. Um, <laughs> You want to go first? I don't. There's. I'm kind of an. I don't know. I'm a nurse. You're a I, potter. I'm. I'm a potter. Well, that's yeah. why. I. I recently started doing the pottery, but I am a nurse. We have three kids. They're all teenagers. One's going to be a senior in high school next year, and we don't know what to do with that information. Um, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. We've uh, been married for 18 years. Oh. I think most people know most of this stuff. We she got married way too young <laughs> She's, she is a crazy plant lady i do love plants we have oh, a lot of, both indoors and outdoors i just love gardening and watching stuff grow and nurturing things we're, yeah. we're both big animal lovers we have way too many critters we have six dogs right now two that are fosters um but it's important <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot of dogs we have too many dogs but it's important to me to you know i don't know i feel like yeah. You should nurture things that uh, are are vulnerable, you know. I yeah. think that's yeah. part of being of humanity. So she's I think also one of the most kind people you will ever meet. I mean, she rescues dogs for crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
pretty i'm pretty standard actually i'm a normal person he's the crazy i'm the supporting character the normal supporting character yeah she she tells me when i've gone too far in my videos okay my, hey, is this too offensive <laughs> she's like e i don't think you should show that much but <laughs> I did notice the last one was blurred out while he was trying, you was towing. Yeah, well, yeah. I had it in there longer and it was much less pixelated. She, she was like, yeah, I think you need to cut that down and maybe make it less obvious. All I, said, all I said was, can you blur it a little more? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I was like, yeah, yeah I mean, I know kids are going to watch this, so I don't want to, you know, disturb or what's the word, uh, traumatize them. Yeah. 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 True. Yeah. But anyway, don't upset any parents. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, and me, I'm well, uh, an artist slash YouTuber, ex truck driver, ex a lot of things. I've done a lot of weird, random jobs from tree trimming to tattoo artist to cabinet maker, tile layer, you know, landscaper, bunch of different things. He's done all of it. He's done to support the family. I mean, when we found out we were pregnant with our oldest daughter. We were both kind of losers, just young. And <laughs> I was the loser. I was literally the guy on the couch that didn't yeah. have a job. She supported us. We first met each other. I was such a, such a bum. I but, mean, uh, I was, we were not, we were young and stupid kids yeah. partying way too hard and having way too much fun. And that's how we, we had our first daughter. But the first, the day that we found out I was <laughs> pregnant, he was thrilled, like, cried he was so happy he was 19 years old what 19 year old dude is thrilled to have his yeah. girlfriend you know <laughs> i'm scared to death like oh my god what are we doing and he's like i'm so happy but he went out that day and got a job and has just been grinding ever since you know so he's pretty pretty awesome that's good that's brilliant <laughs> I'm glad it, you know i'm glad it works i mean I, I i got married young myself i mean i've been married 21 years this year wow awesome. you've got us um, yeah so you find that you know, if you get married that little bit younger, it tends to last. I mean, I know someone that was married two years ago and, and they're already divorced. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Either it fizzles really fast or it if, it, if you make it past a certain point, yeah. I feel kind of like, you know, you're so invested into it. You might as well just stay married. <laughs> you know yeah, that. you might as well. Plus, it helps I mean, to be friends. Well. It helps to be well, friends. You friends it? Don't friends. know who you are without each other after a while. You know, like yeah. I don't know. We're not. We don't always like each other. I yeah. think there are times that we're <laughs> just like, you know. But but I don't know. You know, I I was telling my daughter this the other day. I don't really know who I am without dad. You know, like yeah. Um. So much of my identity, my private identity at least, is is kind of well, is wrapped up in us. Yeah. It's, it's us, not just like me. You know. Yeah, and I don't mean that to say that I'm like I'm nobody without him. I do have my own things that I do, but like he said, it's more like I don't know who I am without us, rather than just. <laughs> I can't live without you. <laughs> I was gonna well, go in for a kiss, but I decided to abort. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know how you feel. I know exactly how you what you what you mean. Me and the wife are the same. We're best friends. You know. Yeah. But I don't know what I'd do without her. She don't know what she'd do without me. But still, yeah. Um, okay, so uh, Nicole, um, I've seen that, that you, you're into. You recently is it recently got into pottery? Very recently. So for our seventeenth uh, anniversary, no, it was our sixteenth. Sorry, we've only been married seventeen years. We've been together for eighteen. Um, I lied. Um, so for our sixteenth anniversary, I had taken pottery in high school or I took art in high school and pottery was like a month long part of that. And I remember loving it and I've always wanted to do it again, but we have been, you know, really broke our whole marriage up until recently and taking classes was just a luxury that, you know, is by the kids shoes or, you know, so it was yeah. never really in the cards. And then it was, I just always talked about it and he just totally shocked me for our anniversary and bought me a brand new Brent type C wheel, like, Oh, a yeah. really good wheel. This is not a crappy pottery wheel. It's a really nice one. And, um, and <laughs> so it just bad. like spawned this whole thing. I, I, for about the first eight months, I couldn't center centering is the hardest thing for me to learn. I watch all these YouTube videos. And then honestly, 
in January of 2020, we had gone somewhere to visit my brother for Christmas. And I, I was like, when I get back, I'm going to center until I, I know how to do it. I'm going to do it every single day. I'm yeah. going to learn this. This is something that I, I enjoyed even the failure of it. So I got home and for a week, I watched YouTube videos and centered every single day for two or three hours. And by the end of the week, it just clicked, something clicked. And so really just this year has been when I've been trying to churn out stuff. So it's very, I mean, it's only about six months old, honestly, that yeah. I've really been making stuff. Um, but I've just, I, I sort of am obsessed with it lately. I love, it's very soothing. And I understand now how all these makers get so obsessed with making. I've never been creative. <laughs> Bobby's always been the creative one. And I guess I felt like I never had time to explore that part of myself. And I never thought there really was that part of myself. And then something she's, about she's creative, but I don't think that I am. I don't know. I guess it took the right thing. You know, I don't know. I'm not creative like that. You know, I don't, I Just do not in different ways in different ways. Sure. But um, as we all are, as we all are. And you don't know until you try. Do you? Yeah. Really? You know, you don't know yeah. you're capable of something until you and, take that and I say this and it sounds whiny and I don't mean for it to, but like, you know, living in the shadow of somebody with almost four million followers, it's it's a, it's very daunting. And it's not that he, you know, is daunting at all. It's just I mean, who wants to follow that? You know, like <laughs> it's it's really intimidating. So I'm glad yeah. and I think that the fact that it's something completely different from what Bobby does makes a huge difference because yeah. he can't center. <laughs> he is not. I'm, just he, I'm sure if he I really don't want him to try all that hard because he'd probably blow me out of the water in a month and then I'd Whatever. be <laughs> <So, yeah. laughs> all oh, right, okay. Right. Okay. So, either of you guys, um, do you have any inspirations, um, which kind of uh, you know makes what you do it inspires what you do? I should say. I mean, yeah, you, Nicole with the pottery and and Bobby with your carving. I mean, that's what you're well known for, isn't it? I mean, does anyone ex inspire you guys to do that? Um, uh, there's a lot of factors that go into what piece I make and why I make it. First of all, it has to be something that I have an interest in and that I find, well, when I see it in my head, it, does it make me excited to think about the process of making it? Because if it's just to put a video out or just to have something that I've met, you know, I have to want to make it is yeah. the first thing. And then I also like, because really, I mean, my channel it is my job now so i also have there are other factors that have to go into it like is it only going to be inter interesting for me you know because mm -hmm. if that's also the case then i m may not record it because there are i do some things that are not on camera but yeah. the things you see me make you know i take a lot of things into consideration i love making miniature things so ever since i was a kid you know the my imagination of would be sparked when I saw something miniaturized and it made me feel like a giant, you know, and, and you imagine, mm -hmm. you know, you're a giant and stuff. That's why I, I do a lot of small and miniature things. But um, I mean, usually it's just something that pops into my head. Like I'll be walking along and then it's like bing, or at least the beginnings of an idea. Uh, some of my more abstract stuff, like that is not a, like, like, I don't know, the, the hand with the cubes or the color pencils or the, any of those kind of more, um, I say uh, abstract sort of modern art things. Those those usually an idea pops in my head and then I slowly build on it over time. Um, but as far as inspiration, it's just everyday life, you know, yeah. going, scrolling on Instagram or, you know, looking at nature or going to a museum, you know, can start the, the, the beginnings of an idea that I then build on. Uh, yeah. So that's, you know, kind of, kind of like everyone else life in general you know i know that's sort of generic yeah <laughs> she inspires me that's good as well <laughs> we throw ideas back and forth sometimes i think i know i said that a bit late you asked me to say that <laughs> earlier. that was supposed to be first yeah i'm sorry yeah. <laughs> um, I, I started following you know i think i think people that inspire me are people who um are i don't know this could be a I don't want it to be a super complicated answer. 
I follow a bunch of people on Instagram, like potters just, you know, recently that I followed um, once I got the wheel and started really thinking, Oh, I would like to do this stuff. People who are really good at what they do and they don't try to like, just do it to impress other people, but they really, you can tell that they love what they've perfected. I really like that. Um, yeah. I mean, I like the people who put themselves out there too, and that's amazing, but I don't think I look at these really super gigantic, intricate pottery pieces and go, wow, I would love to do that one day. Cause I just, maybe once I get really good, that could be something I reach for, but I'm still happy with making a good handle that feels good. And, you know, so yeah. there's people who, who make mugs and that's all they make because that's what they like to make. They like functional pottery and they like seeing it. And this is actually kind of me. I love having somebody take a picture and show me them drinking their coffee in the morning in one of my <laughs> mugs. It, it seriously yeah. makes me so happy. Like just cause you know that that's their mug, you know, that's the one thing. It just feels like you're a little part of yourself and there and it makes them happy. And it, it, that inspires me is to see people using things and, and, when somebody makes something and doesn't, sh you, you can tell they do it because they love doing it. Not yeah. because they're trying to impress people, you know, not that yeah. there's anything wrong with impressing people, but. Yeah. Yeah. I understand that. Um, yeah. There's nothing all worse than useless. <laughs> Sorry. I said all of my art is useless. Oh. It has no practical function at all. <laughs> that was not a dig at Bobby. <laughs> no, I just think like, people don't look, well, most people don't have any of my stuff, but imagine them. Like actually, like using one of my tiny knives, you know, seeing yeah. pictures of people using my work. <laughs> well, he also just made me this gourd. He does make some functional art. I usually have to drag it out of oh, the, the table. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I he, made her he a makes table. some really pretty stuff. But I think the things he really enjoys making are the little. He's so good at the little tiny. Yeah. I mean, he will spend hours sanding this tiny, tiny <laughs> yeah. little spot with a, a little bitty. It all eye. gets edited out. I like, thing, you yeah, know? you don't see that. My but. eyes, I would never do that. And I like, people are like, I could never do that. I'm like, you could probably do that. But people would never do that because it's so tedious. But he almost, I don't know if he enjoys the tedium, but he's really good at it, uh, you know? It helps to just kind of, when I get into the zone, um, sort of the artistic flow of, being super absorbed it quiets everything else in my head down to where yeah. it's like a a break from my own brain yeah that does make sense he has pretty severe anxiety um i think he's getting better as he ages oh. a little bit but but he does he's talked about that before how it really helps yeah. his mind but i just find it funny i'll go out to the garage <clears throat> we here we have a shop but he also works in the garage a lot and he'll be doing something like when he was making the beetle have you seen the beetle video oh, yeah. where yeah. He literally made each little leg piece individually. And I remember going out and watch, it was like three days of making legs or more. Yeah. It was, And I was just like, my eyes are crossing. I'm just like, I'm bored <laughs> watching you. Stop. Just move on, you know. But it ends up being gorgeous. Yeah. You can see in your work, obviously you can't see, uh, you haven't got it in your hand, but on the camera you can see that there's a lot of time and love and and real yeah. thought gone into it but then the more time you spend on the finishing the better the product is in the end yeah. but i can relate to you with the anxiety because i get severe anxiety myself um almost debilitating sometimes and if i can come yeah. out and chop and i can just focus on one thing that's why i love doing the the video inside of what i do it takes it all away and it relaxes you and you're okay then <laughs> yeah yeah listen to it sometimes i'll even have like a podcast or a book you know kind of going on in the background too yeah. and i can totally escape not that i want to escape my life you know i love my life and i and everything but it's it's just like you know people meditate it's a form of almost yeah. meditation you know to to just hyper focus all yeah. of your attention on one thing i think people are too distracted by everything me included with phones and with everything, you know, it's nice to just have all of your attention on one thing. I don't know. No, I it, get it. Because when, when I'm out yeah, here, you have to with your no, pottery. I totally like I, I, yeah. I don't think I really understood. My hair looks awful, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep seeing the do this. Um, Look at mine. <laughs> I, 
coming out here and, and nobody's out here. And I like doing it at night too, for some reason it's, it's uh well, not as much as he does, but I like doing it right there in the evening after dinner when everybody's kind of doing their own thing and, and I'll come out and, you know, three hours later, somebody opens the door and I'm like, Oh, like it's, life, yeah. there's people out there. She screams because it startles her. It <laughs> <laughs> I open the door. I'm like, Hey honey. She's like, ah, <laughs> But you yeah, get you lost in it. You're focused yeah. in on something, and it's you do. You forget about the whole world. You're just like immersed in your project. I don't do it to his extreme, but I get what he's saying now. Yeah. You know, well, if you yeah. don't focus while making pottery, the whole thing is gonna, yeah. Blur, yeah. you know, flop off yeah. the table. But cool. Um, so should we have a little tour of your spot where you make stuff? I mean, you... <laughs> sure. <laughs> Here, it'd probably be easier. I wonder if I can flip the camera around. Can I? There's my, sorry, uh, I'm just, now I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. I don't know if I can flip the camera. Let me try, because it'll be a better, up, oh, up, oh, wrong. Hey, I'll just do it this way. So this is, <laughs> here, let's start here. This is, uh, like I said, it's very messy. Um, this is where I usually, you know, you can, this is where I usually am standing, right in this area. Yeah. You see the plane that's always there in the background. That's a plane that I got off of, um, a lot of people ask about this plane. I got it off of Craigslist years ago, and it was kind of broken and in disrepair. And I fixed it and wrapped, re rewrapped it in the uh, the coating and did the paint job, and then hung it up and have never flown it because All right. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I didn't want to crash it. So there's like a little <laughs> drill press. Got off, I think a garage sale, garage sale item, little bandsaw that doesn't really work too well. Um, that's one thing that I, I, I don't, I tend to not spend a lot of money on tools, which I probably should, but I'm, I'm just cheap. And, uh, you know, if I can make something work like a belt sander versus a super high dollar, you know, whatever I usually go with the, the, I don't know, maybe I'm working harder, not smarter, but, right. uh, it's a big mess. That's just a, a table, some other tools down there. This is the table that I actually do a lot of work on that you'll see in videos like the down the shots from above looking down yeah. when i'm working on projects like uh well you can see the last one was uh the yeah. little yeah. axe and uh the one right before you can see some of my templates that i've used like for the little bitty cross guard piece yeah. that's the, oh, the so little yeah. piece that I cut out um i do uh, multiple prints and then i'll cut out the pattern parts of each one and then uh, just work from here what, what else oh yeah this is a this is i built this for nicole it's actually a really weird uh ironing board table because she wanted an ironing board so i made her this used to have like a padded heat resistant material on top so you could iron but it was a dumb design because there's no point you know, like there usually oh, is a yeah. in, and it's against the wall. Yeah, yeah, I just then I took it over because she didn't really use it, so I just kind of took it over. It's made out of like scrap wood, and then these shelves are where I keep a buttload of just random stuff and tools. These are actually snake racks. So does that mm -hmm. make, do you do you know what a snake rack is? I'd imagine you put snakes in them. Yes. <laughs> So like, so like, these are also snake racks. Yeah. And yeah. You know, like there's a snake in there. Yeah. And the same, it would be the same exact for this. They're just a bunch of little shelves or little drawers that you pull out, and yeah. snakes would be in the baby snakes. And then I just decided to uh, use it as a shelf. He for said he said he likes to have everything. I've tried to organize it for him. He said, I like to be able to just look up there and see it and grab it. That's why it's such a disaster. I like everything to be out and spread out so I can see it all. Because if I don't see it all right there, I won't remember it. And I'll end up buying duplicates, and <laughs> I, which I do have a lot of. But I've got like, <laughs> it's so messy. Sorry. A bu bunch of little files. And because since, since this last project was, uh, you know, a lot of working with metal, I got a lot of my metal working stuff out. Tiny, uh carving tools and uh, this is the 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 order or chaos that i work with with all of my projects all of them it's just 
I don't know. It's just the way I've always done it. He also works out of the garage. The garage has all the big tools, the table oh, saw, yeah. the big belt. Or, uh, yeah, there, there is more in the garage, but it's it's most of it's in here. So, yeah. uh, and uh, usually I have a tripod right here with my camera and a boom, and it's looking down at the table where I flip it up to look at me or whatever. I just it's pretty small in here. This whole building, this this little area I work in is actually probably ten by ten by twelve. Yeah, it's maybe even shorter. No, it's less than ten by twelve. It's it's small. Uh, the rest of it is Nicole's and Joanna's area, so I'll give the camera to Nicole. Oh, I'll do a quick. I actually took it over because my area was it was full of. I'm gonna turn the air conditioner off. <clears throat> it was full of just junk from. Oh, everything's backwards. Sorry. It was full of just Bobby's junk for like two years. It sat. This area just sat full of stuff, boxes, yeah, and no things worries. piled on. So I was like. Can I please like take over some of your area for my pottery? And uh, he was like, sure. So we cleaned it up uh, probably only a couple, three months ago and made it mine. So this is just where, let's see, this is some of, uh, this is really awkward to do. It's backwards. Some of my like drying pottery. The dog, the shop dog. Here's my wheel. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's my shop dog. She's my girl. She'll come in for hours and just patiently wait on me. Yeah, there's my uh, places. Oh, yeah, my oh, wheel. Yeah. This is this is what started it all. This is my baby. It's a really good, good wheel. And then all my glazes and under glazes. Bobby actually built these shelves for me. So half of this room is actually Bobby's cage for his monitor. Now she has an outside. You can, I don't know if you can see the little light. Right oh yeah. Here. Yeah. yeah. Is she out there? I think she's outside. I don't know if you can see. This is her outdoor little place. Ah, it's right. Joanna. And then the rest of it's just, here's a bunch of sort of finished stuff. Yeah. And then oh, back okay. towards Bobby's stuff. You caught me. <laughs> <laughs> so we shared the space. He was nice enough to, to share it. But he does have a two-car garage that he uses. We have a three-car garage, but he uses about two-thirds of it. So. All right. Stop. All right. <laughs> <laughs> How's that for a shop tour? That's a, that's a good tour, yeah. It's a nice space you got there. I mean, yeah. like, so this is where I keep some chaos, <laughs> and over here is where the rest of the chaos is. Yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna switch? Yes. We're gonna make switch, switch, switch on you. Well, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, but um, so do you, you 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 fire your own stuff as well in there? Not in here, <clears throat> in the garage. You're talking about the firing the pots? Yeah. Yeah. I know the kilns oh, is in the garage. Yeah, that's in the oh, garage. Okay. Yeah. Running the 220 all the way out here would have been crazy expensive. And and uh, I like to keep a close eye on it anyways. But yeah. kilns surprise me still. It's just extreme hotness. Yeah. Yeah. And it glows, you know. I usually fire it at <laughs> night just because, what? You, I, was, I can't I was say kind of like you. Glows? Extreme hotness. <laughs> <laughs> Is <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um. Anyways, yeah, you'll go out. I fired at night, and so you'll go out in the garage at night, and the the whole kiln is just like red and like in little spots. It's like shooting. It's it's pretty intimidating. Was it like two thousand degrees or something? It gets to usually. I fire. It gets to almost. It's like twenty one sixty. Pretty, and that's Fahrenheit. It's pretty hot. It's really and you and you sell your your uh, wares, don't you? So, yes, I had I um, like three Etsy sales so far, okay. so still sort of a you know a baby potter, maybe four. Yeah. What do you? She's not sold three pieces. No, I mean I've had uh, sales like like three. I, I've sold I don't three know. launches of differently. Yeah, that's what I mean. I thought you, yeah, no, she's sold almost. Like what? I've sold most 30, of 30, 40 pieces. Oh, probably more than that. Probably. 50, 50 no, I think pieces. I've made like over a hundred actual sales. I'm sorry. That was confusing. Yeah, I, I made over like a hundred sales. Like, you sold more than three. But I've only done like three, <laughs> three right. here. Okay. Okay. I have some yeah. pieces for sale. So, okay. but they're going pretty good. Honestly, it's because of him. I'm really fortunate that I have. Some, not true. I'm very fortunate that I have somebody <laughs> that, that is famous, Mr. YouTube famous, that that tells everybody to buy my stuff and that they go <laughs> listen to him. Um, because it, it, it's definitely, I mean, I don't know. We're blessed in so many different ways. You know, I could have never been this successful with selling my 
brand new potter, don't know what I'm doing pottery if I didn't have somebody who could push me and, and talk me up that much. It takes a lot of people a lot more effort to get going, you know, and yeah. the YouTube thing. We're just so blessed. We still look at each other and just go, is this real? Like, is this, I, we still are, I can't believe it's happened and it's still going. Like we, we had such little expectations for what the YouTube life would look like. And this is not what we thought well, it was going to be. We just didn't know it yeah. would get to the point where, or the size is, that it did. You know, I always dreamed that, you know, I could do it as a job, you know, one day kind of thing. And then it was like, not even YouTube, within, but just I'll be an artist. Just a few months, I, I was able to quit my job. I mean, it happened so fast. That's another thing. It wasn't this super gradual mm -hmm. thing. It was like almost overnight. I went from, I don't know, no, no one online to like getting lots of views and, and, all this attention and it actually was kind of terrifying yeah. you know when it first started oh man when he his first moana's hook video when that one started going crazy we were on the way up to kansas to visit my family and he had such severe anxiety about it <laughs> and he's so weird about hiding it when he starts to have this and but you, i can kind of tell just because i know him so well he just sort of yeah. goes into himself and gets sweaty you know <laughs> <laughs> I turn into a sweaty, a sweaty blob. loner. Yeah, but you can tell he gets kind of sweaty and clammy and just sort of goes in. And um, he had horrible anxiety about it. Watching the numbers start going up, he was just like, "It's like, what's happening? Like, yeah. what? What does it I mean? Was the, does this mean anything?" I was the kid that would cry when people sang "Happy Birthday" to him yeah. because of the attention, you know, yeah. all at once. Okay. And yeah. so that was sort of like the adult manifestation of that, you know, like, the, oh, stop looking at me. <laughs> you know, I, the thing is, it's a little weird. But what's weird is that, like, I am not socially, I don't have social anxiety. Yeah. It, it never is that. Um, by the way, we keep touching the phone because the screen starts to dim. Oh, okay. um, yeah. yeah. So, uh, I've never had an issue with it. It's, I don't know. I don't know. It's just a, what a weird quirk. Well, yeah, I think it was like, like, what is happening? Does this, where is this going? Does it mean anything? I mean, is it actually, is this going to change anything or are we way too excited? It was just like so many unanswered questions. Yeah. And it happened, like he said, over a couple of days, it was, it was, uh, and then honestly, we, what we thought was this amazing boom. And that was just the barely yeah. the beginning of it, you yeah. know? And it was just like, it didn't Stop for like a year it just steamrolled and got bigger and bigger until we were just and people would know who he is and, and it was it was weird to be this like overnight we call it pseudo famous because <laughs> we can still go in public you know but yeah. in certain circles like you could we go to maker central and he's like everybody knows him and we're like yeah. they're, they're so excited and i'm like it's it's just bobby yeah. like I, I mean, I know, I guess it's exciting to see him, but he's totally a normal person. Well, thankfully, you know? I have to wear a mask in public now. That <laughs> way, you know, the paparazzi kind of leaves me alone. They've calmed down. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll have, to, I'll have to thank you for this as well, because we're, Maker Central's last time, I know I, I was talking to you about this, Nicole. Yeah. Um, whilst, because I was doing the glue, Gorilla Glue and I was helping Nick and Nick back, uh, Thomas, my, my young boy, had to come and sit with you guys in the office, I don't know if you remember. Um, you were in the corner and he oh, was sat yeah, there. Yeah, we were sitting on the floor over there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And it, it just made his year. It was <laughs> it, <laughs> he nearly wet himself because he was like <laughs> next to you guys. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So, yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it, it is amazing. Just the, I don't know, the, the whole experience has been amazing. Even, you know, meeting people and just seeing them light up and be excited to, to meet me and, it's interesting too. It's a totally interesting feeling to, 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 because I see my viewers as like this. It's like a one big blob, sort of, of a group. Not, not a, you know, not in a bad way, but like this. Yeah. You know, it's hard to individualize that. You know, that many numbers, that big of a number. But when I see, it's so cool to see individuals. Uh, you know, now that I get to see individuals that yeah. that are a part of that blob. Yeah. It makes I don't, I don't, it makes it more real. No, <laughs> right. I get totally. what you're saying. It, it, changes the, it changes the blob, the number blob, into a real person yeah, and real. It. Like it, it totally is impactful, and it, I don't know, it, it inspires me to keep doing it. And um, yeah, people like you know your son. 
Tell him I said hi, by the way. I will. I will. He will have to say hi. What's his name? <laughs> it's Thomas. Tom Bennett Makes is, is his YouTube channel. Okay. He's, cool. he's not bought anything out for a year because of uh, bullying at school. So, But he's, oh. now he's, he's getting back into it now. So, okay. Well, good. Keep doing it, Thomas. Okay. Um, so we kind of spoke about Maker Central. Uh, it's it's cancelled this year, obviously. Uh, yeah. Are you, gonna, you guys going to come over next year? Yeah. Um, oops, sorry, I think a bug flew on I'm my I'm pretty face. sure that's the plan. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, I think it was rescheduled. I think it's supposed to be May of yeah. 2021. Yeah. Yeah, we, we totally planned. <clears throat> we haven't bought our tickets yet just because, you know, the plane tickets anyways. Just because uh, we don't, it's everything is so up in the air all the time. But yeah. yes, we totally plan on on making it back there in 2021. You know, something I didn't think about, I guess we can talk about <laughs> later, is uh, the timing of England's graduating. We have a senior in high school next year, so I'm hoping it doesn't uh, coincide with her graduation. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, that, that, I think that's not that. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> I mean, we're talking making sense. We've got two more. <laughs> yeah, let's yeah. make, make it up with the rest. <laughs> so um, um, it's been like a really cool experience we don't have anything like it here in the u.s um not, no, we've been maker. like there's the there's maker fair maker fair which is but i feel like the they shut down though, I yeah think. and i feel like maker central is like this giant friendly event you know like it's very it's almost has an intimate feel even though it's pretty big but so many people know each other yeah. Um, you know, like we go and we're familiar with so many people are either we've gone two years now and, and the second year we went, there were people there that we remembered from the year before that we had just, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's the really I, cool. There's no like sanctioned off, you know, yeah. the internet, you know, the YouTubers are here and then you have to wait in the line and all this. Stuff. I mean, we're just walking around and I really like that. Uh, yeah. you know, I did, I walked around at Maker Fair as well, but or yeah, Maker Fair, mm -hmm. but, um, I don't know. It just seems or I don't know, I like the fact that it's indoors too. Yeah. You know, I love air conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't really need it in this country, but well, you know. yeah. <laughs> it's not a rainy either, anyway. Yeah. You know what? Both times we've been to the UK, it's been great weather. It's been perfect. I don't yeah. we barely saw any rain. I don't even remember seeing rain. It was like oh, okay. <laughs> seven feet. Yeah. It's great. I think you guys are a bunch of liars. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, yeah, we kind of keep it to ourselves all the sun. Um, usually, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. um, so um, so Nicole, are you going to do YouTube? Are you going to start recording? You know, when you get more comfortable in what you're doing with the pottery, are you going to start bringing some videos out? I don't know. I don't want to say never. I just like Bobby spends so much time editing his videos. Like yeah. easily half of what he does is editing, and and. Part of that is because he's such an uber perfectionist. I would never do, and I don't know, I guess the expectation would be that mine, I don't know, there's a lot of factors. I wouldn't want people to expect my stuff to be like Bobby's because I would never sit there and edit for a week straight. I just, I have too much other stuff to do. I wouldn't do it. Um, I, I, Bobby tried to teach me editing and in some ways we don't work very well together and it was <laughs> not pretty. We are a great team. 99% of the time, but sometimes it's like I'm speaking Klingon. He is. And she, you know, is doesn't well doesn't understand Klingon. Editing was one of those uh y'all don't it was not a pretty marriage moment. So um I don't know. Maybe I would have to learn to teach myself and I don't know. I just don't really feel like we, I have a enough. We learn different ways. Too. We definitely Sorry, no, do. no no no, you're fine. Um I don't know. I honestly don't know. I would like to. I wish I had done it from the beginning. I kind of had an idea for a channel where it was me starting out, not knowing sure. what the heck I was doing and showing the entire process of learning. I think that would have been cool. And I kind of regret not doing that because I feel like a lot of people like me are very intimidated by, um, you know, watching a channel where they always do it right, you know, and they don't have a lot of failures and um, and that's just not realistic. And everybody started somewhere and people don't really see Bobby's goops, but I get to, you know, I'm get to see them, you know, the, I get to see the grind and the boring parts. And, you know, so I, I kind of wish I had done that. I feel like it's a little too late. That ship has sailed. Um, but we'll see. Uh, hopefully, hopefully. Saying, not... yes, but like it's very consuming, I think, to have a channel. It, I mean, you but, have. 
but the thing too i'm also saying she doesn't she needs to not have a channel like mine it needs to be like i don't want to i know i don't want to have a channel like yours but i also have three teenage girls and you know i'm gonna go back to school and get my next degree for nursing um i'm you know i have a lot of life and and you know i don't know and honestly i would hate to start this channel and i i don't know just have it be something that sort of fizzled if it's not if it was something that i felt really passionate about and that i felt like it was really doing something good for myself then i would want to but i am also a lot more sensitive i think than bobby is so if i get those ugly comments and you know <laughs> yeah. people calling me ugly and fat and untalented it would make me cry and it would be terrible <laughs> I'm, I'm too sensitive so i don't know you know there's a lot to think about Maybe yeah. eventually. Yeah. That was a really long-winded response. I'm sorry. No, you no, can no. Put, a, put a lot of thought into it. No, no, no. That's that's why you know I, I just love to. Um, this is why I do this because I really like to get to know the the people behind um, sure. you know, the YouTube channels or the Instagram or, or whatever. You know. Yeah. Like I said but earlier, now you know I'm way too sensitive and and I cry easy. And Bobby makes me cry all the time. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh. I bring her to tears with my beautiful sonnets. Yes. Right. Okay. You did sing to me this morning. Oh. Remember when you woke up and you were like, "I always wake up like oh yeah, singing songs." And what was it you sang? I don't remember. The you song. should sing it for the audience. But I don't remember it. I don't remember what it was either. It was a romantic <laughs> song, and he was singing it to tell me what song it was, and then, then I turned it to singing. To then her. he was gazing into my eyes. With well, that's love. good. After seventeen years. 18 years that's, yeah. that's brilliant that's brilliant <laughs> we barely um, tolerate each other <laughs> right then um so projects is there anything you're working on at the moment bobby that you um you give us a little bit of a, uh, not, not a sneak peek I or? no i just just published a video and i i'm really bad bad about like as soon as i get done with a video, I tend to just kind of not think about anything for, for the next couple of days at least. Yeah, reset. And, uh, I'm, I just posted it yesterday, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, I've got ideas for projects that I want to do. I want to do more resin carving. Um, yeah. Like I have an idea. I, there's a project in the work for a pretty big corporation that I don't know if I can talk about it exactly, but it's a big deal for me because I'm a big fan of this company, you know? <laughs> Excuse me. It's very uh, exciting. Yeah. yeah, that's good. For me, it's, a big, it's a big deal. Um, so I know that doesn't really explain anything. It's like, hey, let me talk about these things I can't talk about. Yeah, well, uh, that's fine. No, I tell you. Uh, like, one thing that is absolutely going to happen soon is uh, two things. One is I started a huge sword years ago with Wes Swain. You know, geeksmithing, Wes Swain. You know Wes, right? I don't know him, but yeah, I've heard. Yeah. Okay, yeah. geeksmithing. <laughs> um, I'm going to finish that. That is going to happen. It's a massive video game sword. It's got lots, lots of different things going on. There's literally, you know, Arduinos and 3D printing and hand carving and LEDs and all kinds mm. of stuff involved. Uh, that's one. And then the other is the piece that I stupidly balanced on the end of that piece of oh, the yeah. grass too. The, the mm. thing, the giant, yeah, thing that, that fell off with the colored pencils. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, terrible. I still have to repair that. So that's a project that I'm going to work on. Uh, okay. I'm also going to be doing some stuff with like 24 karat gold. Um, I want to do some, some, you know, some more showy, wow sort of content. Also, I've always, since I was a little kid, I always wanted to hold 24 karat gold. Don't know why, just always wanted to really bad. Uh, so it'll, it'll be an interesting way to get to play with it in, in the name of art and, uh, more content. Yeah. Plus it's a good investment, you know? Yeah. 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 I think a lot of people don't realize too that like when Bobby starts a project, he uh, he works, he starts the project, and then he does not stop working until the video is finished. So he's been working on this for a solid 
two and a half, three weeks, this last project that you did? Yeah, well, I, I wouldn't mean, say he, solid. But. Well, every day is, is, you know, I mean, he obviously eats and takes a few breaks <laughs> and, you know, sleeps, but it's he works yeah. every day well, until it's done. A, a huge part of that is that I am a super meticulous when it comes to editing. I do all of my own editing, and I'm slow at editing. You know, I'm not like super. I, see, I became an editor out of necessity, but I, but because I had to be an editor, I then looked at it as an art form and tried to pour as much attention and detail into the video as I do my work because ultimately the video is what people are consuming. The art is the subject matter, but the video is the product. Yeah. So that's yeah. why it took it takes me yeah. forever to, to edit a video. And I always find it interesting when he uploads. Inevitably, there are lots of comments. Oh, finally, Bobby's uploaded again. Good to see you. I thought you disappeared. Thought you know? you'd gone, and gone my, away. Yeah, like, my no, head, I've been working. Yeah, in my head, I'm like, he's been working like solid. Yeah. Like, I think he, like, he does literally every step. He doesn't have anybody to help him with any of this. We've talked about hiring an editor. We went so far as to put yeah. some ads out for editors. But I'm really... The software, he, he's very procrastinating. Well, and, yeah, procrastinating. And he's so much a perfectionist. I have a feeling he would have a very hard time handing the reins to somebody. I'm, saying, I'm yeah. also kind of a control, not a control freak, but when I it definitely. When comes to this, for sure. When it comes to the videos and the, the art and everything, I definitely have a vision that I want to see the end product looking just what I, like I have in my head. And uh, I'm feeling that and most of the time that vision doesn't even happen until I'm in the middle of editing. And like a lot of the creative process comes once I sit down and look at footage, then I get ideas to then build off of it and whatever. So I, I know I, an editor would probably work out, but it would definitely change the feel of yeah. my videos. And, um, you know, it would be through their sort of vision mixed with mine. So, I don't know, it might be better. It might be, who knows? We, we like them as they are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just, uh, it sure would make, mean that I could uh, put out more videos because I wouldn't have to spend so much time editing. Um, I think people appreciate that, <laughs> that, you know, people that know what goes into this, like myself, yeah. they know that, um, I apologize for next door, drilling something. Um, they know that <laughs> what goes into it. So, the the distance between your videos we all know that you're coming up with something pretty good you know what i mean it's not going to be right. a throw away like oh yeah i just I just thought i'd make this and chuck it up there do you know what i mean right. we know it's going to be quality it's going to be a really good yeah. video quality so, over quantity is what a kind of my philosophy philosophy yeah. philosophy i could you know make more money if i put out way more videos and stuff but, but would just, you enjoy it more right no i think yeah. Be straight. Honestly, like even part of the stress is coming up with an idea because it has to hit all of those points. It has to make me excited. It has to hopefully make the audience excited. And, you know, also the process. I like for the process to have some sort of interesting aspect to it as well. If it was a super boring <laughs> process then it would be kind of boring to watch, you know? We, yeah. We've lamented the the fact that Bobby didn't get famous off of doing vlogs because, <laughs> man, it would have been a or, lot easier. Or commentary. Yeah, like you know, commenting watch. on somebody else's Now, stuff. let me watch this video that someone else has created. Tell you what I think. And, and <laughs> yeah, like not that not that we're bitter about it at all. Y'all yeah. say that's great that they made that their thing. But, yeah, he definitely has... Because pretty... yeah, there's a lot of work that I have to do. Yeah, uh, you know, it's a it's a it's a lot of work. I'm just saying <laughs> because I'm lazy. I wish I had didn't have as much work to do. We're all whining. Yeah, we are. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. Good. So I know you do uh, collaborations and that now and again. And you've done Alex Steele and a few others. Um, we've got our, our very own um, Carver in the UK. Um, his name's Andy Heal. Uh, AHB Spoke is his channel. Uh, that would be a brilliant, a brilliant collaboration between you two. What guys. was it called again? AHB Spoke. He's um, sounds familiar. Yeah, you've probably seen him. Um, he uses a Dremel 40 Flex, and the stuff that he's producing with this Dremel is just 
Uh, I think you were one of his inspirations, to be honest. Um, oh. But uh, maybe you'll get a, you'll get a, an email from him at some point. Yeah. He's a small YouTuber like myself, you know. Yeah, I, the odds are I've seen some of his stuff because I, I do a lot of I look I watch a lot of wood carving videos and, and yeah. just you know other artists and people and what they make. Uh, so, but yeah, I'll definitely look it up and, and check yeah. that out. That sounds really. really He's in a, we've got quite a, a, a large maker community that we all do lives each week. Um, we, we all go into each other's lives. I have guests on all the time on a Tuesday when I do my lives. Uh, and, that, and that's what we do, you know. But, yeah, it'd be great if you, you two got, got something together. That'd be brilliant. Be cool. um, By the way, do you say, how do you say Tuesday? Tuesday. With a Tuesday? Tuesday or Tuesday? <laughs> no, you, you, you. So chew, it's like, like it's to like, chew. Yeah, yeah. Tuesday. Okay, yeah. It's like saying <laughs> aluminium. Aluminium. <laughs> yeah, aluminium. <laughs> we say aluminium. <laughs> yeah, I've had this. I've had this problem with uh, Colt Jacobson. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do Brits sit there and, and make fun of the way Americans talk? Um, not really. Not really. really. I mean, because not that I've seen, but I, I, what I have seen is the um, the guys from America find it harder to understand us than we do to understand you guys. If, if that makes yeah. sense, well, I only have trouble if it's a really thick. Like honestly, my manager, he's uh, I think from uh, Glasgow, Scotland. Oh, okay, his, yeah. His accent is really thick, and it took a little bit of getting used to to really be able to understand. Now I understand him. I didn't understand a word I he said the first time I talked to him. I was like, huh? I had to translate, what? but it is rough. Yeah, uh, Scottish is, can, can be kind of uh, like a real thick Scottish accent, but most UK, ac like, I mean, not UK, but most uh, English accents, I think I pretty, pretty well understand. I Except think for Barnaby Dixon. I can't understand that guy at all. <laughs> See, we've got uh, obviously we've got the Irish, the Scottish, the Welsh, the Cornish, yeah. uh, the Londoners, and then you go up to the you know the northeast side, and you've got all the you know like you've got the Geordies, and you've got so many different accents in the UK. All the different dialects, yeah, yeah. And then well, we're fortunate strong. enough we we traveled a little bit, and I think that helped me a lot. Anyways, we went to Scotland last year after Maker Central. That helped tremendously. I feel like I can really understand things a lot better. And the first year we went to Wales and then at Maker Central too, and then London a little bit. So I think that's helped. You know, Americans are so isolated here. I mean, we're a huge country, but we don't we have the opportunity. I think people get like, I don't know, I guess maybe I'm a this defensive American, but I hear people say a lot of times that we're so you know, arrogant and we're all about ourselves. But it's like, well, we are this huge country and to travel to another country is a big deal for us. It's a, you know, $1,500 plane ticket. And, you know, it's a thousands of dollars vacation. Whereas if you live in Europe, you can go all these places and, and spend, you know, two or 300 bucks. And so um, we are fairly isolated and like, we don't like to get um, channels from the UK. Like we get the BBC you know, and that's basically it for, you know, any that's, kind of British. That's, that's the only channel that, that's yeah. in the UK, right? It's only the BBC. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> only channel. So no, we've, we got, we've got, we've got Sky now. To, we, to other, um, you know, countries, things like we don't get anything Canadian. We don't get any, we do get some Mexican. We got Telemundo and a few other, you know, but uh, it's just not available to us. I think a lot of our our arrogance it comes across as arrogance but it's just ignorance we just don't have it available yeah isolation isolation yeah well we are better than everyone else too <laughs> i mean oh yeah of course yeah <laughs> is it, is, uh, look at us right now it's not it's, arrogance look we're at just us. better look at how much better we are 2020 <laughs> there's a tv program in england that you would like i'll try and find if it's on youtube i'll send you a link uh it's called the great pottery showdown I've been recommended it? that, and I've never watched it, but I'm glad you mentioned oh, it because I, I, I need to sit. Sorry, I'm I I gestured. <laughs> no, I, you'd uh, love no, it. No, I, I do need to watch it. But I'll send you a link anyway. Okay, that would be um, awesome. 
Okay, so um, the next question I'd usually ask is, uh, is, there a, is there a tool that you love to use and a tool that you really don't like using? Um, I mean, what is it that you, you use for your carving? Is it Fortiflex or something like that? I, I use, well, I have a couple of different couple of different rotary carvers. Um, the one I started out with is a Chicago Electric cheap, like 50 bucks that you can get at Harbor Freight. And that works great. And it works. It still works. The only reason I don't use it right now is because the <clears throat> the pedal, which was a, whatever you call it, like a variable speed pedal. Yeah. Uh, as you press it, the, um, I forget what the potentiometer or whatever that controls mm -hmm. that, the switch mount is malfunctioned. So it's basically an on off. Oh, like, like, a scale electric, like a scale electric uh, um, trigger. The what? You know, scale electric with the little cars that race around the track. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. They were like that with a little trigger that you, the more you press it, the faster they go. Anyway. Yeah, right. That's, that's <laughs> literally the way it's supposed to work. But right now, it, it's just turned into an on off switch. So, yeah. and I like the control, you know, of the speed, how fast. So, and the one I actually use most is a Fordham uh, with a flex cable and a foot pedal. But um, I've had a lot of problems with the Fordham. Um, like, way more than I had with the Chicago Electric. The Fordham is literally like eight times more expensive. And I've had, like, I mean, I've had tons of things break on it. Um, I have, like, parts that I thought were actually cast aluminum or metal are actually plastic. Um, oh, right. Okay. It, when it works, it works well. But the fact that it's broken so much on me kind of is disappointing. And their, their customer service isn't that great, is it? Uh, I don't know. I just, you know. I bought it for them actually for like a present a couple of years ago. And was, I wish I'd have just gotten oh, yeah. a, a couple more of the. We barely, the I've, I've had it for literally just like maybe a month and called. That's that's what she's talking about. I called them up and was like, hey, part the part that a critical part is broken. And I've only had it for this long. Okay, well, you can order a new part. Not like I just assumed they would be like, "Oh, well, I'm sorry. Let me go ahead and just send you that part." Not yeah. because of who I am, but just because that I had it for such a short amount of time, and because yeah. it's freaking expensive. We're not four hundred. But yeah, they're like, part. "Oh, well, you can here's a here's a link to <laughs> you can buy all those replacement broken parts that you want." I'm just like, oh, you. No, you know? uh, so yeah, I, I I tend to not talk crap on companies, and I don't really want to because. Yeah. I could have gotten a bad one. Well, I say that because the replacement part ended up breaking within a month. <laughs> so it was like, I think it's just a design flaw for the part. Yeah. But um, anyways, sorry. Okay. Like, I got that. But no, that's all right. Things where I'm just like, you know, I want this, you know, I spent all this money thinking oh, I'm going to have such a great upgrade when in the end I still have to bust out my $50 one, you know, because the other one goes down, you know, now it's yeah. my backup, but whatever. <laughs> so, so it's kind of both. I love and hate it. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> I don't know what my neighbor's doing next door. I think he's repairing something, but he's hitting and he's... I can't really hear it. It sounds yeah, I, I, thought I, thought you were, I thought you were just farting. Oh, right. You could probably hear this chair that I'm, uh, I'm sitting <laughs> in. Whatever. It's the chair. I, do, I do fart a lot, to be honest. <laughs> you do. That's, that's why anxiety medication makes me fart, but still. <laughs> that's what it is. If, if I, I don't, don't have it, I'll be curled up in a little ball somewhere in the corner of a workshop. But still. I think it's a defense mechanism, too. It's yeah. to drive away any dangers, you know? It's like, go it's, away, go away. You like stink bugs. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right we're, we're nearly we're nearly there guys um just a few more so um i don't know how to ask you this because you, you so direction of channel so where would you hope to be this time next year with your channel that is with my channel what where would you hope to be with your channel this time next year um, um obviously you want to grow more but is, yeah, is I mean, I don't know. I mean, as far as numbers or the co the or the content, what whatever, whatever. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, I would hope to still be getting views. You know, I would hope that it would still be able to be my job. You know, I know that this is 
more than likely temporary. You know, I everyone kind of rises and then, you know, kind of peters out, not necessarily in a, in a quick manner, but, you know, I want to be able to keep doing this for, you know, another decade or more, yeah, you know, it would definitely. be great. So, you know, if even, even the, the, the numbers of subscribers, that's not important. I just hope people still watch my stuff, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah really, and really when you th think about it, you know, subscriber numbers, that's more of a bragging rights kind of deal. <clears throat> but it really comes down to if people are watching you. You know, that's the important content. thing. Content. Yeah, yeah. Content. Well, yeah. I hope my content is still worthy to get views. Yeah. At the but beginning, it's, it's, I think he had more specific goals about about subscribers. Like, gross. I remember him when we had, um, you had 700,000, and you're like, okay, my next goal is a million, you know? Or I remember when your goal was 10,000. You know, you want to yeah. get 10,000. It's just like, oh, we did it, you know? And then it was 100,000. That was a biggie because you get your first plaque. And then yeah. it was a million. And I remember after, I think it was after a million, and he sat down with the whole family and said, you know. No, it wasn't even a million. I think it was like 200,000. Oh, really? Oh, I think he, I watched he sat the down video. With everybody. He said, listen, yeah. do we, uh, is, are, do we want to make this a really big thing? Like, do we want, this could be life changing, you know, and talk to the girls who were, you know, a little younger at the time, three teens and young teenagers and said, you know, this could be something that you're going to have to watch what you say online. You know, you're going to probably yeah. get some ugly comments. This is, you know, hear ugly comments you about me. Get some creepy people following get, you, which yeah. happens. And it's yeah. actually, it, it has. And, and of course, everybody was very encouraging and you do what you want to do. And if this is what makes you happy, but it has all that stuff has sort of come to fruition. They, they really have a different, um, they have to watch themselves online. They have a public persona, you know, which it's not as extreme as like a Hollywood star, you know, their kids, but. They definitely get they get a lot of attention from people who just give them attention because they're the kids of Bobby Dugarts. And I think it's a little uh, I don't know. I don't know that it's it's not disheartening, but it's I think frustrating for them. You know, sometimes they're like they question whether or not these people are our friends wanting or, to be their friend because of them or because of me. Yeah. And yeah, they'll definitely get right. people who try to get friendly with them and then, then switch it then switch oh to, hey can you tell your can dad you t yeah can you tell your dad that i said hi and they're like okay yeah or like what's it like being bobby dugard's daughter and they're like it's like having a dad you know he's just yeah. like, like i'm glad that you like my dad but like come on you know yeah. um but it makes me feel bad for them to a certain extent not that i mean they definitely have perks that come with the job too but there's it's not all positive you know it definitely has affected the family yeah i'd imagine it would i mean it's not affected me i know i always take no, it away right. I, I like to talk i guess i mean i'm i You're like I my just therapist hit, <laughs> i just <laughs> hit two thousand subscribers yesterday on my life oh so yay <laughs> He said he hit 2,000 subscribers yesterday. Oh, awesome. Congratulations. Well, I've, I've put the work in. It's it's hard work. It really yeah. is. And, you know, and it is it is that when people aren't watching or, you know, it really does affect you, doesn't it? Or you get yeah. news, but still. Well, um, like he said when, when he first, when he was a much smaller channel, he had said it's like when, once you reach a certain threshold, it sort of compounds on itself. If you have this small amount, you know, it's hard to get every 10 subscribers is a, you know, a mile, every yeah. hundred, is a a hundred mile was harder than hitting a thousand, which was harder than hitting 10. Yeah. But once you start getting the, the subscribers and then you start getting the views and then YouTube starts to push your stuff, then it just like, it's like, like with him, yeah. it just gets exponentially bigger. But very with quickly. YouTube, the rich get richer kind of yeah. sort of thing where it's a feedback loops on itself. Now it can go the other way where, if your channel starts to get less views, then YouTube will stop recommending as much, and then it'll get less views, which gets less pushed, and yeah. it can go both yeah. ways. But you know, there's just a tipping point where you you know it kind of does its own thing. Yeah, that's it. It's just uh... anyway. Um, so camera equipment. What do you guys use for camera equipment? So um, I, for most of what I shoot, it's a Canon uh, 80D body and then i have several different lenses i uh the one i use most is the actual canon i forget what it's called but there's a kit lens that comes with the camera 
if you buy it and it's a pretty it's a it's a zoom lens but um so i use that one a lot for like sort of my in sequence shots where i want the nice super close up with the bokeh and all that stuff um i use a tamaron lens i think it is like that's the thing is i'm not a camera nerd i don't even remember what most of what i have or even the 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 millimeters or anything like that um i just know that it's not the best but it's not the worst stuff yeah. that i have um i used to not so much anymore because the phone that i have is not my favorite as far as the video quality but i still use it i used to use my cell phone for 50 percent uh up until the last like couple of videos um i've been also introducing a gopro into more recent stuff um yeah. i like the super view and also the internal stabilization is really nice it's yeah. so small you can put it on everything so like for like the the video that i just put out and the one before it the sort of pov shot of the shovel or the axe or whatever it's literally me just strapping a gopro onto something yeah and it's easier yeah. to do that with a tiny little gopro you know i like that that gives me a little a new versatility to introduce new points of view and things like that uh so i'd say well the only three things i use are cell phone my canon larger camera and then a gopro so yeah. okay I use. uh right so um right do you have any shout outs that you want me to put in the description uh anyone that you watch or oh, uh, i watch a lot of channels uh, uh i don't know uh you know Alex Steele, obviously, and yeah. uh, Daniel Thrasher, he's a good friend of mine, William Osmond, a good friend of mine, Peter Strangle, um, you know, Wes Swain, Pat Lab, you know, all, all the guys. <laughs> okay. Well, what I'll do is I'll ask uh, ask you guys to message me then, so I'll, I'll, whatever you want in there. Obviously, with Nicole's uh, Etsy and that as well. Uh, I'll have that in the description as well. Hopefully, we can get some sales. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's me or is your your sound's gone a little bit weird. A bit oh, really? Maybe it's yeah. just, uh, is it uh, is that any better? Does that sound better? No, not really. It sounds like you're inside a, a goldfish bowl. Anyway, it's okay. It's fine. It's it's Sorry. it's live. It's live. That's fine. Um, and that's it, guys. Uh, I'd like to say a massive thanks to both of you for taking the time out. Uh, and being invaded by me uh, <laughs> and, and, and having, having a good chat. I've really enjoyed it. Um, and, guys, yeah. I'll leave a link to Nicole's Etsy and a link to all Bobby's shout-outs in the description below. Um, and that's it. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was great talking to you.